Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. We're so excited for this four course meal. Our friend Brandon from Not A Private Chef has prepared for us four courses for this wonderful lunch. I'm starving. I'm pretty hungry. I didn't eat breakfast knowing we were gonna have a very full menu. So shall we welcome out Brandon? Right. Oh, oh yes. gotta get proper over here. All right. <laughs> so to start, we have what I'm calling the bread and spread plate. Ooh, bread and spread. You've got brie cheese, pistachios, fig jam, whipped butter and honey, and fresh pear. So beautiful. Thanks, Brandon. Enjoy. Thank you. You're welcome. Where should we start? Okay, into it. Let me try the brie. Got spread. I'm getting first into the butter. I love honey and butter. Such a good combination. Ooh, look at this. Mm. Good crunch of the butter mm -hmm. and bread mm -hmm. together with honey. And more jam. The honey butter adds like a smooth texture with the crunchy baguette. I love how simple the ingredients are, but it's so beautiful. It's like a work of art. What is your go-to drink? At a bar? Cafe, bar. <laughs> Both. Okay. At a cafe. When we're splurging and treating myself to something nice, I'll go for an oat milk latte. Extra hot, because mm -hmm. I just like my drink to stay hot, especially because I'm drinking like throughout the day, running after the kids, mm -hmm. and talking and doing all the things that I actually don't get to drink all at once, so I like to always ask for extra hot if mm -hmm. possible. I go to a cafe, can't go wrong with, um, I was up for, actually, I don't really go to cafes because I make coffee at home, but, if I do splurge, I, I'd go for anything with like an ice mocha. This is your ice water, by the way. Let's go switch. I'm a, I'm a hot water kind of gal like mom. Mm -hmm. If I'm feeling a little extra, I'll get an ice blended frap. Did you get into the pear? Yes, the pear is really good. You gotta eat it with some brie. Oh, I didn't even get into the brie. I'm so up in the butter and the honey. What's your go-to drink at a bar? Mm. Let's see. Depends on what kind of night we're trying to have. <laughs> what kind of night do you usually try to have? No, but um, my go-to is probably a martini. Lychee martini is... Really? Yeah. Or a dry martini. I love anything with vodka. Mmm. Mine is margarita. Mmm. For the salt room. It has to have a salt room. And it just feels like... It's classic. Vacation. Mm -hmm. Because I do like... Um, Tequila, but I'll do a mezcal margarita every now and then too for the smoky flavor. And I also love a good dirty martini. Espresso martinis. Oh yeah. I've been my new fave when trying to have a later night to stay up. I hear ya. Especially with the kids. Mm -hmm. I do the brie with the jam and a piece of pear. Mm. They're so good. All the Ooh. textures. Mm -hmm. Should we get into another question? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, this is a good one. What's it like working as a sister team? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a good one to start off with. We're sisters. Most people don't know. I'm older by three years. Mm -hmm. The best part is um, just being able to be comfortable and, and lean on, you know, on your family member. And, and Connie is my older sister. I've always looked up to her. So having that support and um, collaboration together is it's sweet. Like we've had a lot of, you, our family time, but now to put professional work into it. Definitely there are some challenging times and moments, but um, my God, mm, it's a good one. I think learning boundaries. Mm. It's been fun though. It, it, you know, we get to do things like this. We get to, you know, grab drinks or, or you know, celebrate and do get boba before inspection together. So it's, it's, it's been a fun journey. Well, it's cool is we weren't really close growing up. That's we're true. one, we're six, there are six kids total, and I'm the second oldest. There, we have a brother in between us. And yeah, I feel like we were in such different phases in our lives. Mm -hmm. I was probably in high school when you were still like, I don't junior know, high. Yeah, junior high. Like, we were in a different world. And mm -hmm. I feel like it was when we became moms that we really started to bond. Mm -hmm. And then now that we work together, it's like a whole new level of our relationship, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
yeah, I like that we get to just spend more time together, which mm -hmm. I wish it, yeah, it's really cool. It's like you're a, you're not only my sister, but a good colleague, and it's like working with like your friend in a, in every great way possible. Because we yeah get to like pick up a drink, a boba before we meet a client or just do something. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I feel like we have a really good energy. I know still that there is that yeah the challenging part is because we have that sister dynamic me being the older sister you're probably used to me feeling like i'm bossing you around all the time and because i am more experienced um there's like that other added layer of feeling like i'm bossing you around um totally. and, and i'm trying to learn to yeah kind of um like help you build your own way and and phrase things sometimes in a way where it doesn't feel like i'm speaking as your bigger sister but more as a colleague Aww. That's very empowering to hear. But I also appreciate we've had some hard conversations and I feel like it was helpful to have those early on too because I think that's made our relationship stronger as a, in a professional setting and also in a personal setting too. Agreed. I always like to ask people who, like, who they think is older. older. I, think I feel like you would get that a lot. 